a 17 year old entrepreneur who's passionate about blockchain technology, artificial intelligence, and quantum computing. And today I'll be talking about how Gen Z is changing the startup ecosystem for the better. On the next slide, please. The next one as well. Yeah, so let me start by shedding some light on robust stats. So by 2030, Gen Z will officially become the largest demographic in the world's economy, earning about $33 trillion, or 27% of the global income. Members of our generation are already putting their money to good use, starting companies like we all do, and new funds with over 20% of the 18 to 24 year olds investing in stocks and real estate. So Gen Z isn't just observing today's most consequential trends, it's creating them. Next slide, please. Um, yeah, so for example, young adults are gravitating towards emerging opportunities like crypto, more so than their elders. In addition to creating companies in the space, 40% of Gen Z investors hold stock in emerging technology companies like Red Blockchain. Um, next slide. Um, we were born into the internet. This means Gen Z startup founders know implicitly how to tap into a wealth of information that previous generations, like our parents, could have only dreamt of. We have the desire to create multiple careers for ourselves, something our forefathers aren't particularly proud of. Um, we grew up in a globalized market. Unlike many millennials who weren't exposed to other cultures until college, our generation grew up making friends of all types from across the world via social networks and multiplayer online games. Who remembers Fortnite? Everyone, right? This new wave of workers expects to work alongside people of all creeds and colors, which is proven to increase innovation. Next slide, please. Right, so we have watched our gen generations earlier than us struggle. Our response has been to develop a solution for ourselves and for the future generations. While some of us are working on business ideas, others are selectively choosing higher education, applying to Thiel Fellowship, we are pushing for more free education opportunities, which has influenced many to provide free education. Entrepreneurship previously has always been about profit and success, which is good and still a necessary metric. However, Gen Z cares less about assets and ownership and more about freedom, experiences, and equality in the workplace. Next slide, please. Yeah, this is what I just covered. The next one. And on a concluding note, I'd like to touch upon diversity. Diversity matters to us through so many dimensions. And it isn't just isolated to race or gender, but also related to identity and organization. Combining this with our preferences on how we work, where we work, and who we work with means that companies in the future will need to fundamentally change how they organize, how they hire, how they retain and develop talent. To attract and retain the best and the brightest of our generation will require a different mindset, a completely different one and a completely new one. Employers will need to understand the behaviors and tendencies of a generation that expects much more from about personalization and how they're treated by our employers. In a way, we'll be changing the workplace environment for the better. The next slide. Thank you.